Welcome back to another video for HarborFinancialOnline.com. Today I'm going to be going over how your federal income tax is calculated. And this video is going to be more for the people that are new to filing a tax return. And I'm going to walk through the Form 1040, which is the form you provide to the IRS to report your income. And I'm going to show you exactly how they calcul calculate your tax and um, what you might owe or how much your refund might be. So I'm going to get the video started and we'll walk through this together. The amount of tax that's calculated is based on formulas that are set by the IRS. So these are rules and guidelines that you have to follow when preparing your tax return. Each taxpayer is required to fill out a Form 1040. Now you have another form, it's called a 1040EZ, which is a simplified form of the 1040. And for you first time, you know, taxpayers that are the first time providing a tax return to the IRS, this may be the form that you're going to use, the 1040EZ. So it's just an easier form to fill out, shorter and quicker to complete. So I'm going to go through the form with both of these forms with you guys on the videos. And just, I'm going to go through the first page because that's the most important for you to understand at this point on what's required. So the tax begins with your filing status. This will be at the top of the tax return. So this is the starting point for your return. You're going to file either of these you know, classifications I have at the top. It'll be married jointly, married separate, single, head of household, or qualifying widower. So that's going to depend on your situation and it's going to affect what your tax bracket is going to be. You have exemptions based on dependents. These are the people that live with you, that you support, and each dependent that you qualify for will be an exemption, which will mean a deduction, so less tax paid. The first page on the tax return, which I'm going to show you, you have to report all wages, salaries, tips. So even tips, cash tips, if you're a waiter or waitress out there and you're receiving tips, the IRS still requires you to report these amounts. You have taxable interest, dividends, alimony received, business income or loss. You have capital gains, IRA distributions, and pensions. So I think right now we're going to go to the form and I'm going to walk through the lines with you guys and show you. Here's our website, harborfinancialonline.com. So at any point in these videos, you can check out our site. You can pre prepare the return directly online or use our online calculator, which will give you an estimate of how much your taxes will be and how much your refund might be. Okay. So this is the Form 1040. For you, about, for you people out there that haven't filed a tax return yet and are new to this, this is the form here. This is the long version. And like I said, I talked about the 1040 easy, which we're going to go to next. But here you can see at the beginning of the return, we have the status, which I talked about. Boxes one through five. You'll check one of these boxes. But if you do the return electronically online, say through our site, it'll ask you these questions and fill all these boxes out for you. Um, but I just want to show this to you guys so you understand what the form is. Here's the exemptions, the people you support, the information you have to input for them. Wages. Um, all the income that you have to report, which I already covered, but here's all the boxes. I'm going to go to the 1040 EZ because I think for most of you out there that are watching this specific video, you're going to be filing the 1040 EZ, so we'll, we'll focus more on this form right now. Okay, so again, we have line one, your wages, your income. Um, still going to be tips and any income you're receiving, taxable interest. This could be savings accounts that you have in banks. You'll get a statement from that bank for the interest you earned on that amount. You'll report it here. Any unemployment compensation. Now this is going to be common for a lot of you out there with people that have lost jobs um, recently. You're going to have to pay tax on that. Um, so you, this box, it'll go right into this box. Keep moving down here. Here's where you put in the amount of tax withheld on your W-2, so your paycheck that you're getting from your employer, the amount that they withheld in taxes will go into here. Um, so you can see we have all the boxes, and you can see how much shorter this form is 
versus this form. So you have the 1040 here, the long version. This is what the common taxpayer prepares, but people that have a little lower income, maybe new to filing taxes, a little bit younger, usually can fill out the 1040 easy and be fine. It's a very short form. But, I mean, it can look a little bit overwhelming, so that's why I recommend doing the return online if you can through an online software. Okay? So this is the basic form you're going to want to provide to the IRS. And let's get back to the video, and I'm going to go over some of the more areas that are, I think you should know about filing a tax return and how much tax you might owe and what you should report. You have to report... In calculating the income, federal income tax, you have to report any rental income or rental losses. So if you're renting out a place and receiving some kind of income on that, you have to report that. Any forms of miscellaneous income, you're making money on anything, you need to report that to the IRS that's required. The, what I talked about, those deductions, that's deductions against your income. And the total from that is called your taxable income. So not all of your income is taxable. You have the deductions that take away from that income that you made. Some of these are educator expenses, health savings account, moving expenses. That's really the most important thing, I think, for you guys out there that are new to taxes and new to filing a return that you need to know at this point. So look at the 1040EZ. If you can qualify for that, it's going to be a lot easier. If you have any questions, send me an email, expert at harborfinancialonline.com. I appreciate you watching our videos. And uh, check out our site, harborfinancialonline.com. You can prepare the return directly online. Use our estimator calculator. And uh, thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.